Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Cat Tales. We are going to jump straight into this one because it looks like the day that we've all been waiting for has finally arrived. I think our kittens are coming now. It's, it's happening. Penny, isn't this incredible? The kittens are here. They're finally here. Looks like there's four of them. Aren't they beautiful? Yes, that means that we had the biggest litter too. We're going to have our paws full for a while, aren't we? Well, let's get them all cleaned up so we can get a better look and decide on what to name them. Oh my gosh! Oh, our very first kitten! That is adorable! So we can see like their tiny version, their little kitten version, and also their big version too. He looks quite a bit like his father's scowl, though he has Penny's golden eyes, and it looks like the very tip of his tail might also have a little bit of black on it too. I'm not sure if Scout has that, so that might be from Penny, but he is so cute, oh my gosh. So I mentioned before that I wanted to name their kittens after types of birds, because Penny loves birds so much. So I think this first baby, we're going to name Finch the firstborn of the litter. I can't wait to see what his personality is going to be like too. It looks like we might even be able to uh, change their patterns. I'm going to leave this one for Finch because I do like that. Are you sure you want to continue with these details for your new kitten? Name Finch. Yeah, I'm happy with that. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Oh, this kitty looks almost just like Penny! It looks like they have a minty green eyes instead though. That's really cool. I didn't know the kittens could have a different eye colors from their parents. But yeah, we have a different options to go by. Okay, so three different options for each of these cats. Well, I think we're gonna go with option number one. I really like how this cat looks as so much like Penny. And we'll name her Raven for her darker colored fur. Now let's see what the third kitten is going to look like. Yeah, we have Finch and we have Raven so far. Oh my gosh, this one is like a perfect mix of both of their parents. Almost like uh, their fur colors were blended together. Let's check out the other options too though, just in case. Okay, this one looks a lot like Raven, and that looks uh, quite a bit like Finch aside from the eye color, so I am definitely going to go with option number one. So far, I really like the ones that they've picked out for us. So we'll name this little baby Starling, which I think is a super, super cute name. And now we're on to our final kitten. Oh, and she looks so much like her mother again. Yeah, let's check out option two. Oh, that's like uh, the opposite of Starling. That's a really neat one. Most of the kittens have actually had that minty green eye color as well. Yeah, I think we're going to go with option two for this kitty, and we'll name the little one Piper. Like, uh, sandpipers that you could find by the beach. So I hope she's going to love the ocean. Hopefully she'll love collecting shells and eating fish. But we'll have to see for ourselves what uh, each of their personalities is going to be like. So there's all of our kittens. Aren't they just beautiful? Welcome to the world, Finch, Raven, Starling, and Piper, a little flock of tiny birds. Let's get them some sleep until morning. All right, and then we'll be able to meet them, I hope. They've got a big life ahead of them. We should both be very proud. I love you, Penny. Oh, Scout. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh my gosh, I am going to dash straight into the nursery, Scout. I'm sorry for leaving you in the dust, but we have to meet our little kitties. Oh, they are so precious. Look at these little things. We have Finch, Raven, Starling, and Piper. All right, so can we interact with them a little bit or are they still too young? Your kitten sleeps soundly. All right, so Finch is a pretty heavy sleeper, but Raven on the other hand, as your kitten sleeps, you see them recklessly tossing and turning. Oh, she's going to be a handful, isn't she? Let's see uh, how Starling is sleeping. It almost seems that your kitten sings as they slumber. Oh, how perfect is that? Singing like the birds that he was named for. And then a last but not least, sweet little Piper. Your kitten hides their eyes with their paws as they slumber. Oh, I wonder if she's a little bit more shy then. 
so they all have uh, different personalities. Oh, I can't wait to meet them some more, but I guess we're going to have to wait until they grow up a little bit so they'll be able to uh, open their eyes and greet the world. Scout, I can't believe it. How perfect too that this is taking place on Valentine's Day. Do you want my extra field mouse? I don't need it. Here, it's yours now. Thank you very much, Scout. He must be uh, very, very proud of Penny Cat for having such healthy kittens. And we'll have to go spread the news around the colony too. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Everyone is going to be so excited. And in fact, today would be a wonderful day to break out this confetti bag. I mean, if we were waiting for a day of celebration, this is certainly it. So bright and early in the morning, let's see if we can uh, use our very first bag of confetti in the forest. Oh, that is so cute. It's going to be quite a bit to uh, clean up Ember, but I hope you don't mind. How's my bestest friend doing today? What can I do for you, Penny? Hey, Penny, I got you a gift. It's a marigold. I hope you like it. It's all yours. Have a good run, friend. So he definitely heard the news. And he wants to uh, make sure that we have enough herbs inside our den to keep our kittens nice and healthy. But of course, uh, we are definitely prepared for that. Always trust in truth. It is the one thing that cannot lie. Oh, I can't wait for Mayor to meet our kittens. He's probably going to have a lot of uh, good stories to tell them, a lot of really good advice too, especially if one of our cats decides to uh, take on the Highlands like we're hoping. Over the past few days, I have been slowly increasing our territory, trying to widen this pathway, so this won't be so much of an issue. If uh, the cats around the forest decide to try to cut us off, they shouldn't be able to uh, undo all of our work. Ain't the sky pretty today? Such a deep blue. It's like the whole world ain't got nothing to worry about on days like these. I'm glad to share it with cats like you. And I'm sure that's because we have brand new kittens in the den. So the forest guardian must be celebrating. And Missy, pretty soon you're going to have a brand new little kittens to watch after as well. She's done such a good job keeping watch over our pets that I'm sure she wouldn't mind babysitting every now and then. Some are real kittens as long as they're not too too much of a handful. And Sarge, oh, you're going to be so happy too. We know you are waiting very eagerly for our kittens. We have your gifts inside the den, of course. Oh my gosh, and there's another one. Hey, Penny, I got this topaz for you. Hope you like it. All right, well, we're going to put that straight inside the den again. We'll have to figure out which of the kittens would uh, prefer which gifts as well. We know that Starling likes to sing, so uh, maybe he would enjoy some of the more beautiful items around the forest, kind of like Lyris does. Hey Penny, I found this banded darter and immediately thought of you. Here you go, take it with you. Glad to have a friend like you that I can unload my junk on. Well, I'm glad that we can take this to our kittens. We'll save this by them to, uh, again, see if anybody would like the bugs of the forest too. Let's go ahead and spread this right around their little kitten beds. Oh my gosh, I am just so happy. I can't believe this happened on Valentine's Day of all the possible days. So we'll go ahead and drop this uh, lovely little topaz right next to Starling's bed. Interesting too that he has all the other topaz gems that we've collected right next to uh, his sleeping spot. So maybe that had a little bit of influence over him. I feel like Raven might actually enjoy the dragonflies the most. Since she's so spirited, she might like to uh, watch these little bugs zip around the forest. Or try to catch them, maybe. I feel like that would be a pretty big feat for any kitten, if they can manage to get their paws on a pesky dragonfly. But as Scout watches over our sleeping kittens, now might be a good time for us to go back up to the highlands to make sure that we are, of course, increasing our territory there. We'll have to see if we can maybe drop off some more little gifts to uh, give to our future kittens too. Whichever one decides to take on that land for their own. We'll see if we can uh, hunt down some more bunnies along the way. Even though we don't technically have to uh, give Scout bunnies every single day now, we still want to make sure that he's happy. And little doves for us. Oh, I can't wait to see which kitten loves birds as much as Penny does. You know one of them is going to develop a taste for birds too. Oh, and a turtle. We haven't seen turtles in quite a while. 
All right, there we go. So we could possibly sell off the turtle shell. Or again, keep it as a uh, special little gift. Turtles are pretty rare to find, especially in the winter time. So I'm sure that uh, our kittens would really appreciate playing around with it. Oh, they could sharpen their claws on the shell, or maybe just uh, bat it around for fun. But let's go ahead and munch on uh, some of our berries today, because it looks like one of our battles is directly above us. And we want to make sure that we're keeping the cats out of our territory, especially now. Luckily, they don't stand a chance against all of our well-trained warriors. And now that they know about all of the new life in our dens, I'm sure they're being extra careful when it comes to pushing out our enemies. Now the other battle should be uh, closer to our path, I think. And if we just follow the river, we might be able to skate directly into it. Poor little Amethyst can't even keep up. Oh, we'll have to make sure that we have all of our other pets meet our kittens too. As long as they can join us in the nursery, then I'm sure they'll be very, very happy to uh, meet our new babies. But we're super close to our next battle and to uh, some of the territory that we might want to consider using our diplomacy skill on. Actually, while we're uh, thinking about diplomacy, let's go ahead and increase our active skill again. Can we upgrade this past three? Yeah, seems so. So let's upgrade that to Diplomacy 4, so our cooldown is even shorter. That way we can use it on uh, all of the tiles up in the north. But first, let's chase these cats out of our territory. Penny is not going to take any chances today. There are quite a few mountain cats out this way though, so we'll use our deep cut skill, and then we might need to summon our allies for this one. Maybe we can take care of a few more. Oh, look at that, reinforcements already. Oh, we know that the forest colony has our back, protecting their new mother. So thank you very much, Stella, for lending a hand. You haven't seen any beehives around, have you? I don't like bees. Well, Stella, I don't really like bees either, but it means we're going to get stung. But I don't think you have to worry too much in the winter time. I think most of the bees would be uh, sleeping away inside their homes. Oh, and it looks like we have a bunny on the screen. That pink arrow popped up. There we go. Let's sneak up on our very first uh, bunny of the day. Oh no, don't run off the screen, little guy. We actually want to bring you home for our kittens. Because just like I'm sure one will develop a taste for birds, I'll bet one is going to really love the bunnies too, just like their dad. Do you guys have any guesses as far as which cat is going to like what? It'll be super fun to discover this together as we go along. So if you have any ideas, then leave them down in the comments, and we'll try them out as soon as our kittens wake up. I think I see an enemy over here though. Jester? Oh, they didn't notice us. That was interesting. We could have, like, ambushed Jester if he didn't see Penny sneaking around. I wonder if we could have, like, crouched up behind him so he didn't hear us coming. We'll have to uh, try to remember that for the future. Oh, geez. But now we have cats ambushing us instead. Well, luckily, we have plenty of herbs on our side, so I don't think this will be too much of a problem. We might want to consider using that marigold, though. I guess it's a good thing that uh, so many cats were thinking about us today. They knew that even though Penny's kittens were just born, she isn't going to be able to sit still. She needs to get back to work in the Highlands to make sure that everything is safe and prepared. I love how so many of these cats are just patrolling the borders for us. Hello, Sprinkles. I need to wash myself. My fur is all matted and gross. I guess he's been out here for quite a while then. Well, we appreciate the effort, but do get some rest. We need our cats to be in top form if they're going to help us expand our territory to the north. So we'll use our diplomacy skills here. Yeah, that takes off a pretty good chunk of the uh, mountain's influence. So pretty soon we'll have enough to uh, hopefully cut them off from the Highland Lake. But first, let's try to uh, catch this bunny too. I think uh, as long as we can actually catch them, what I'll do is I'll leave a little gift of bunnies underneath one of the trees too, along with the doves we've collected. So gifts from both the kitten's mother and father. Something a little bit more personalized than just uh, herbs. I think I also placed a couple of mice down here too since the last time we played. 
underneath uh, one of these many, many trees around the lake. Now, I'm not sure if we're actually going to be able to claim this lake as the main portion of our colony. Oh, and it looks like we stayed out for a little bit too long because now the idea has ticked over and it's starting to snow too. So after we place down one of these doves, we'll have Penny return home and uh, curl up to sleep in our own den. She definitely deserves a little bit of a break. But yeah, based on what I was reading on uh, the developer's Kickstarter, I believe, it sounds like we're going to have to choose a tile that is not quite so close to the border of the map. But that being said, it's still an area that we could definitely have under our control. So while uh, our den might not be at the Highland Lake, I know that our kittens are going to be very happy to find all of those gifts in their territory. But let's go ahead and curl up to sleep. I'm sure Scout is going to be uh, looking for us in the morning anyway. We need to give him his breakfast because we missed it the other day. Oh, he's already in the nursery, running straight off to his little kittens to say hi to them, of course, and they're all still sleeping soundly. As your kitten sleeps, you see them stretching their little paws out toward you. Oh, Finch, that is adorable. So it looks like we uh, actually get a new little interaction with them each time. Oh no, Raven is still uh, recklessly tossing and turning. How about you, little Piper? Your kitten hides their eyes with their paws as they slumber, and your kitten sleeps soundly. Alright, so Starling is getting a little bit of a better night's sleep than he did before while he was singing away in his nest. So Scout, today we will definitely make sure that we give you your fresh dose of bunnies, and then we might as well plop down this uh, little turtle shell next to one of our babies too. Maybe Piper. Something tells me that she might actually like uh, turtles a little bit more than the other cats, since she seems to be a little bit more shy herself. Oh, and speaking of which, we need to uh, snag up our other pets too. We'll bring Aqua the turtle and Smokey the dragonfly into the nursery so they can see all of our brand new little kittens. The whole family is together now. Yeah, I think Piper is going to find a pretty good friend in Aqua. And maybe as Starling would enjoy the company of Amethyst, while Raven would enjoy a chasing Smokey around the den. I think I'll go ahead and sell off our turtle meat though for the extra muse. That way we can uh, get to work on the den expansions again, just like we were planning to before. Oh, it's not actually worth that much. For some reason, I thought that, that was going to be worth much, much more than it is. But we can clear out some more space in our pockets and uh, go hunting again today. The fairy wood doesn't have quite as much prey in it in the wintertime, but every little bit will help. Do you see the stuff falling from the sky? I don't like it. Seriously, I do not like it one bit. All it does is freeze my paws and cool my fur. What I wouldn't do to have another day of summer right about now. Poor Ember really hates the cold. But Penny uh, doesn't mind it so much. She actually quite enjoys the winter time. Swiping out snowflakes is good practice for fighting. Yes, yeah, Sarge, we're hoping that you wouldn't mind maybe training some of our kittens. Raven is probably going to enjoy that the most. My favorite color is orange and has been for quite some time now. Oh, I wonder if uh, one of our kittens is going to develop a love for healing. Maybe one of them will even become like Doc's apprentice. And Missy, I wonder if she's gotten to meet the kittens yet? Penny, what's up? Wanna hang out today? What does the snow remind you of? It always reminds me... Of me, pure, bright, and unique. Yup, that's Missy. Of course it is Missy. I bet uh, Lyris is already out today. We're actually up a little bit later than usual because we're out so late. Oh, Lyris, I can't wait until you see the kittens too. You are going to love Starling. Can you feel the breeze today? It's just what I need. Feels great. Ah, so the cold weather isn't deterring him either. And Mare is so fluffy that I don't think he's going to have any troubles. Look how pretty the snowfall is. The sky shares its beauty with us today. We could all learn a thing or two from its generosity. I hope you'll be able to teach our kittens to be just as wise as you are. In fact, maybe it's the level-headed finch who would find a love for a leadership, who would want to learn all the ways of Mare 
and uh, try to help him in leading the territory someday. But I think today, as we go out trying to find more little morsels to scoop up for the muse, it might be a good idea for us to uh, also try to pick up the Red Rose by the Sacred Temple, by those temple ruins. We brought one back for Scout last time to set up in the den, but I would love to uh, give him one on Valentine's Day too, because this one has been pretty special for Penny. So as we munch on our berries to keep her nice and full, we'll go ahead and scoop this up. I wonder if uh, Coco is still inside here talking with the Forest Guardian. Surely they've heard the news. And if not, Coco, we are here to let you know that we have a brand new little litter of kittens for you to meet. And the Forest Guardian? Are you up here as well? Oh, they are so beautiful. One of the very, very distant ancestors of our cats of the forest. Well, now that we have our gift for Scout, Let's see if we can maybe stick our noses into some of these battles too, just for those extra mews. Yeah, I am starting to think that it would definitely be easier just to focus on those rather than uh, trying to hunt in the season, because in all honesty, most of the food that we're going to take home, we'll need to uh, just give to our kittens and ourselves to keep ourselves fed. Oh, but there's barely any cats on this tile. Spots is actually like trying to run away. And Bones was kind of just uh, lurking on the sidelines. He wasn't too interested in taking part, but we need to keep this tile under our control. Then we actually need to go down to uh, the road to uh, go meet the Mystic Colony. It seems like they're probably trying to push into our territory there. But we could always use our diplomacy skills since we're uh, getting so good at claiming tiles that way to keep our territory strong. Actually, maybe we want to use it in the orchard? This is also a pretty good place for us to pick our berries usually, and there are quite a few cats here ready to take the berries for themselves. Pouncer is very quiet. Maybe this is our chance to see if we can sneak up on them? Nope. Oh, Pouncer must have known that we were there. Surely he heard the scuffle. I bet that's why he knew that Penny was uh, sneaking up behind him. But yeah, I think we will go ahead and use our diplomacy on the orchard. It doesn't take over the tile entirely, but it does help us keep this a little bit closer to home. That way we can use those berry bushes in the future. And we might as well maybe munch on that berry that we picked up too, as we uh, charge into battle. I believe if we go straight off toward the left, we should be able to meet up with the cats. And there are plenty more mystic cats here waiting for us. So we'll take out Tabitha and Violet, and then try to help out poor Lucy up there. Oh no, the poor thing. Let's summon our allies, because we might need a little bit of extra help. There we go. Two more cats to go. One more. Just Tulip left. Alright, at least we have plenty of Muse to show for it. Unfortunately, our colony was a little bit weak today but they're probably just tired after helping us out so much. So I suppose they do deserve a little bit of a break. Hopefully they'll be able to uh, catch their breath as we wander the territory, picking up berries for our kittens and waiting for them to take their first steps. Based on what I've read so far, it might take about another season before the cats are ready to uh, open up their eyes and interact a little bit more with us. And then supposedly, after they grow up more, we can even take them on little adventures together. So I am really, really looking forward to just playing around with our kittens more. And of course, getting to know them better too. In fact, since it is getting so late, let's have Penny head back to the den now. So she can curl up to sleep with Scout and her brand new family. I can't believe that we actually saw the birth of our kittens on Valentine's Day. You can't get any more perfect than that. So I hope you guys are looking forward to getting to know our kittens more too. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!